Welcome to the Subboard Show. Woo! Oh. <laughs> I'm Stephanie, and I'm the eldest grandchild of Silverwood's owner, Gary Norton. Let me bring you behind the scenes to show you Silverwood through my eyes in today's episode of The Silverwood Show. Welcome back to another episode of The Silverwood Show. If you didn't catch the first episodes, be sure to check them out to get caught up. Today, we will be taking you behind the scenes to show you how our fudge is made. We'll try some of the most sour candy here at the park in our toxic taste test, and then we'll wrap it up with our candy store sweep. One of the best treats here at the park is our homemade fudge. Let's go step by step and see how our fudge is prepared each day. We're here at Sweet Treats with Cheyenne from our retail department and today we're going to be making some fudge. So Cheyenne, what are we going to be making today? So today we're going to be making our flavor of the month berries and cream and then we're going to taste test the chocolate peanut butter. Chocolate peanut butter is my favorite. I'm super excited. All right, let's go. My hair up, got my own fudge shirt on. Step one, we start by pouring the butter, water, and flour base into the mixer. Yeah, it just helps it melt faster so that we're, oh, wow. We're not waiting here for an hour for it to melt. All right. You can just toss it in the kettle, which is nice and clean. And now we just wait. Now we use part one. It is the base. Yes. The base of the fudge. It is the secret ingredient. Even if we knew it, we wouldn't say it. It is. Yeah. So now we get part two. Right in there. Looks like it's a lot, but it'll fade. Is it gonna fit in there? It will. Okay. Next, so we need two and a half tablespoons, not tablespoons, tablespoons of vanilla. Okay. Now we will separate the mixture into three equal parts. I just want to make sure that stays spinning so our butt is nice. We're right there. Yeah, that pretty much there. It doesn't have to be 2.000. Okay. Yeah. Mama, the lines won't help you either. Oh no! Mama is Oh no, not even. Oh, over there. No. Step two, once we have our two pounds of mixed ingredients measured out, we add the various colors to pour the different layers into the pan. We're trying to get the air bubbles out. Perfect. Oh no. Oh no. Gonna take the spatula. Okay and go against the paper, don't rip the paper. Okay. And you're gonna get a nice glob and flip it over. Okay, okay. And then, and then I'm like, pull it over. Ah, yeah, oh, just like oh, that. No. Okay, quick flip. Ah. Okay. Wow. Oh, I like this part. See, it looks beautiful. Mm. Hey, me. No. It's like making cookies. It is. Ooh. But it can set up so that we can cut it tomorrow. So usually stuff we make today, we'll cut tomorrow. We don't cut and make the Step three, once the fudge has set up overnight, we place a cutting template on the fudge in order to get the perfect proportions. We take a plastic knife and just trace. So if I were wanting to try some fudge, are guests allowed to just come and try it before they buy it? Yeah, we give samples of all of our fudge flavors. On average, how much fudge do you think you guys sell a day? We sell about 65 pounds of fudge every day. That's a lot of fudge. It's a lot of fudge. <laughs> This is your favorite, right? Well, in general, I love the combination between chocolate and peanut butter, so I'm guessing this will be my favorite. Oh, that's really good. Tastes like a Reese's. I could eat this whole pan in like but one sitting, probably. Wow, that's really good. Step four. The most important step is presenting our creation for our guests. Two on each. Oh. 
at that glorious piece of fudge right there. So is this the birthday cake? Yes, this that's one? the birthday cake. Okay, so what would you say is the most popular flavor? Most popular flavor probably right now is huckleberry, especially for the locals. For the locals. Everybody loves huckleberries. Yeah, okay, so tell me your top three favorite flavors. Top three. Mint chocolate's absolutely number one. So this one. With a close second being huckleberry. Okay. Local. Okay. Reminds me of Huckleberry cookie when I was young. Oh, yeah. And then hazelnut coffee. We set it right in between the two pieces of fudge. Okay. The top and set it. Right here. This is the best fudge there is. Now our fudge case is ready for the day, and our guests know what our flavors are and what they look like. We're ready for opening. Yay! Cheyenne, thank you so much for letting me tag along with you today. I had so much fun. Absolutely. You're welcome in the fudge room anytime. Perfect. Thank you so much. And if you guys want to try any fudge, make sure to stop by Sweet Treats or the candy store. We're in front of the candy store and we're going to do a little sour candy challenge. First off, we're going to start with Sour Patch. I'm going to rate all these candies between one and 10. 10 being the most sour and one being not sour at all. Um, you can find all these candies inside the candy store. Okay, so first up, Sour Patch Kids, green. Oh, that's good, that's not sour at all. I'll give it a one or two. Shock your buds, formula sour, liquid candy artificial flavors. Can you handle it? Probably not, but we're gonna try it anyway. Okay, okay. bottoms up. Oh, no, 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 that's not as bad. Okay, so this will do, let's do a five. Toxic waste, hazardous sour candy. Um, okay, caution, consuming more than one piece at a time may cause irritation to the mouth. Um, sensitive individuals should not consume this product. I'm a very sensitive person, so um, wish me luck. Um, okay, no. No, we're good. Uh, oh, oh, there's layers to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it burns the throat. Okay, this one's gonna be uh, a 10 um, on the hazardous level. Okay, I can tell this one's gonna be the worst. It has like a powdery outside to it. Oh. burning. It's burning a little bit. Yeah, this is an 11. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's all that we have. Make sure to stop at the candy store and try out all these sour candies or do this challenge yourself with your friends. I'd love to see it. We've selected a few lucky guests to live out the fantasy of being a kid in a candy store and getting to pick out any candy that they want. Here are the rules. Each family will start with five seconds to grab as much candy as they want. Each answer that they get right during the questionnaire will add five seconds to their shopping time. They can win up to 30 seconds total. Let's play. Okay guys, so here we go. I'm gonna bring out the item one by one and you just guess over the price or under the price for the price that I list, okay? So the first one, we're gonna do this giant Hershey's Kiss. Do you think it's $20 over or under? Okay. Under. That is correct. It is a $14.99. Kettle corn, $7.99. Over or under? Under. $4.99. That's right. So another five seconds. All right. Rock candy, 75 cents. Over or under? Over. 99 cents. That is correct. This one might be kind of tricky. Scorpion sucker, $6.99. Under. That's right. It is $5.99. And then this giant candy necklace, $3.50. Over or under? Under. $2.99. Okay, so we got 25 seconds in the candy store. That's pretty good. Are you guys excited? Five, four, three, two, one. Go! Oh, that's fast. Okay, got, got some kettle corn. That's good, that's good. Oh, she skipped all the, all the sour stuff. Oh, the snake. I definitely love that. Oh, some warheads. Those are brutal. The job, he went right past the job breakers. Oh my god. Ready? Alright, yeah. Okay, 
So the first item I have is the Rice Krispie Treat at $32.25. Over or under? It's under, so it, uh, it's $30.99. The next one I have is fudge for $10. Over or under? Okay, so it's actually $8. So there you go. There you go. And the next one is kind of weird. Crickets, $1.99. Over or under? Over, $2.99 actually, not $1.99, yep. Giant Jawbreaker, $2. Come on, help me out. Over? It's $1.99. Last one. Pop Rocks, 99 cents. What do you want to pay? Over? $1.99. Three, two, one, go. Hey, go, go. Go, go, go. Get as much as you can. Come on. You gotta go faster. Hurry. Hey, Come here, hurry. Come on, grab you gotta get me. Grab whatever you see! Grab candy! As much as you can! Ten! Nine! Eight! Seven! Six! Five! Four! Three! Two! One! Okay, stop! Wow! Oh my goodness! <laughs> okay, so we'll get going. The first item I have here is a lolly twirly pop for $2.99. Over or under? Over. That's right. Oh. What, what is it? What's your final answer? Over. Over. The real price is $3.99. The next item is going to be this Stump Pilot chocolate bar. $4. Over or under? Over. Under. It's $2.99. That's right. Okay, the next one is going to be this snake. $7.99. Over or under? What is your answer? Okay, it's actually over. Eight ninety nine. Okay, cowtail. A dollar twenty five. Over or under? Over. Over. Under. Ninety nine cents. Dang it! Sour worm cereal box. Super cool. Thirty ninety nine. Over or under? Final answer. Under. Under. Over. The actual price of this is thirty two ninety nine. Yep, that's right. Okay, so how many is that? 15 seconds to get as much candy you want. So let's get, okay, so we'll start by three, two, one, go! Go as fast as you can, as fast as you can! Get all the candy you can! Oh, five, four, three, two, one, time! Oh, good job, guys! All right, come on. You guys totally cleaned us out. Thanks for playing the Candy Store Sweep. That about does it for this episode of The Silverwood Show. Make sure to like and subscribe to be notified for when we release new content. Also, check out our blog, silverwoodexpress.com, to enter to win two tickets to visit the park this summer. In our next episode, our cast members will compete in the first ever Silverwood Games. You won't want to miss it. Thank you for watching, and as always, thank you for being a part of the family.